Hello everyone and welcome back to Isaac's Nature Channel Entomology. I am the Mothologist and here I've got a couple of Luna Moths. So uh, this is a male and this is a female up here and she actually laid eggs so I'm starting a new project. So basically I'm gonna I'm gonna try to breed some Luna Moths. I've never done this before. Um, so yeah I've got some eggs. I've got about 70 eggs so uh, plenty. And I've got here inside a dish. So, yeah, this is part one of Raising Moths. These are the eggs. Alright, so, it's about mid-June. And this female laid eggs. So, I've got them here in a container. And I've got about 70, just to recap. And these eggs will hatch in about a week. So, got them here. And these are pretty easy to take care of. You can put them in a container. Any pastry dish should do. And I don't actually have the cover for this, but I do put a cover on it during the night because these guys are pretty active. As you can see, they were all their all their wings are worn out. You can see here pieces of wings. And yeah, so they're pretty violent. I don't want them to like hurt the eggs or something. Uh, but yeah, you can see here. Uh, there's some marks of where she laid her eggs over here uh, There's plenty down here There's a cluster So that's where she laid her eggs And in about a week they should hatch into fully grown uh, Well not fully grown and little baby caterpillars So basically what I'm going to do to take care of these is just uh, Leave them in here and this is a uh, This is mesh so it's got it's got air coming through. I don't want to, uh, um, I don't want to start mold. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna spray too much. Um, maybe, uh, two, three times a week. A light spray with, a, a spray bottle, of course. And if you spray them too much, there's actually gonna be mold and infection. And all sorts of nasty stuff you don't want inside, uh, inside your container, uh, killing all your eggs. So stay tuned for some more moth content as it is moth season, uh, early June, late June to early July actually is moth season. You see I got Luna moths and I'm actually looking for a Cecropia moth. So um, my friend found one near an apple farm or orchard, apple orchard. So I'm going to go check that, check that out. So yeah, here you go. Here's a Luna moth. Here are the eggs, and as always, like and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.